Well, honey, let's see what Grandma made for supper tonight, huh? Caveman stew, my favorite. Is up my compadres. Well, since Mother Nature decided that she doesn't know what she wants to do today, and I live in the wonderful state of Minnesota, we're just gonna clean the turtle tank. And I was thinking about this, probably make a video today. Um, I know it's not fishing, I know it's not hunting, but it'll still be a good time. I've already pulled Ziggy out of the turtle tank. He is uh, chilling in a little bucket of water right here. And uh, so yeah. Um, so far what I've done is I sucked all the water out, taken out all of his features, the heater, which I think I forgot to unplug. Let's unplug that real quick. <laughs> um, there we go. Now it's safe. Now it is safe. Turn off the little... There we go. And then I uh, took out his um, filter, sucked most of the water out. As you can see, got all the sand. Um, <clears throat> we're getting the rocks out, we're gonna clean, we're cleaning those right now. And then, uh, yeah, then scrubbing the side of the tank. Um, but yeah, just stay tuned and follow along and hopefully you enjoy this video. I've gotten all the rocks taken out of this side and most of the water. Um, I'm trying to wipe some of all that stuff up with a rag. And then we got to clean the sides of the tank and then uh, put everything back and it should be clean. I'm going to fill with water and yeah, you can see a brief period of time there where me and my grandma were standing there. She told me to take the sand out. The problem with taking the sand out, when you put the sand back in, then it all has to resettle. And if it doesn't resettle before you put your filter in, then it messes with your filter. And I just didn't want to take time to let that sand resettle because it's been in there for a couple of months and it's finally gotten all the layers, as you can see, of where it should be at. And yeah, so put you back on a time lapse of me scrubbing the tank out and then we'll go and get a recap on what's going on upstairs. I think grandma's cleaning rocks. I guess we'll go do that now. We'll go do that now. So grandma. Yes. Do you want to tell everybody what you're doing over here? Not really, but uh -huh. yeah, I'm cleaning rocks. Well, how are you cleaning I'm the rocks? Cleaning the rocks. Okay. You take just a round cylinder and I've got some aquarium gravel, which is very sharp and very hard. And it will clean all the algae and all the scum off the rocks. So you just put the lid back on with rocks and water in there and shake it around and rinse them off and all the scum comes off the rocks. Well, that's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no problem. <laughs> taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to and uh, so I'm just gonna jump ahead to the next step after I get this cleaned out I'll have a cut in the film and we'll fast forward you guys without having to watch me time-lapse a freaking crap ton of scrubby scrubby um, so yeah I'll see you guys on the next step well grandma's still down there cleaning up the tank a little bit more but uh, the filter I have here is a Whisper uh, 10i. It's supposed to pump 10 gallons of water an hour or some, something special like that. 
but uh, obviously I don't have 10 gallons of water in there. But one of the things that we did learn with this filter is that uh, it likes to suck stuff up here in the front that's not supposed to be in there, you know. When you have a turtle enclosure, you want sand and such, you know. So I found this spongy material, kind of a medium to kind of keep the bigger, the bigger junk out in this filter, the finer stuff. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to clean this real quick, and then I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So now, <clears throat> the next step is to get this propeller out. It's held in there by a magnet. This is a big magnet right here. It goes in here. And that's how it goes round and round. It's magnet driven type of a uh, pump thing here. And I like to just run this through some water real quick. Oops, that's a little hot. Try and get some of the gunky gunk out of it. through the hole, just pull her through, kind of like you're cleaning the, your gun, you know, try to get as much of this out as possible, because if you don't, then it makes a really, really annoying, nasty grinding sound, because the, uh, the magnet is off balance and it's catching on stuff. So then it just sits there, goes back and forth, and it goes, and it gets really bad. You can burn out the pump doing, I mean, well, yeah, the pump doing that. So, put some water through it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Stick that there, and of course, run some water through the pump itself. Just to get some of the debris out that might be built up in there. Okay. And I stick my little sponge medium thing all the way back down slap in the old magnet stick the cap back on and boom it's almost like new check for all this hard water scale on it Obviously, didn't want to stay up on the counter. Okay, so the only thing we have to do now is put the whole tank back together. So I'm not gonna time lapse that. I'm just gonna kind of talk to you while I put it all back together, and then let my little Ziggy go back in the water. So yeah, this was supposed to be a basking wreck, by the way, too. But well. Snapping turtles don't really like to bask, so I kind of made it into his own personal little cave getaway type of deal. And well, these are just in here for added effect. He does like to sleep next to him now, so I'm wondering if the rocks don't get heat in them or something. I don't know. Now it's time to put, you know, caveman stew back in the freaking tank. So, 
kind of like that. And then, oh, okay. So this heater you can buy at uh, pretty much any store, Walmart or anything. And uh, keeps the water temp at like 75 degrees, really kind of like it. We'll stick him back on the fat tank, like so. Then, set the filter in here. Now all we gotta do is get the water and bring this back to where it's supposed to be, I guess. Okay. Pray to God that my filter doesn't do that whole annoying sound thing. bit more water. Just a tish. Mm. Now the real test here. Will the filter run properly? So plug it in to find out. Touchdown. Hey Isaiah. Come here. One sec. All right, so only thing I have to do now is to return the Ziggy home. Look at my little Ziggy. Come here, bud. Rawr. <laughs> Well, I think he's a bit cold. So guys, he moved off his rock. He's all tucked back into the sand, doing his little sleepy, sleepy thing. And well, yeah, tank looks nice and clean. Filter's working on point. Thanks for watching. <laughs>